Hey, what's up guys? It's Velvet, and today we're going to be talking about the point of dating. Hey guys, so, what is the purpose of dating? The purpose of dating. So, the reason why I'm making this video is because I want to teach people something that I didn't know uh, when I started dating guys back in the day. My first boyfriend was when I was 13. It wasn't a very serious relationship, obviously, but um, that was my first boyfriend. Um, and I mean, it's just, just a good question to ask. What's the point of having a boyfriend or girlfriend? Um, I think the most obvious answer is we want to be loved. We all crave and desire to be loved. It's in the human design. We want affection. Um, we want to touch somebody, we want to talk to somebody, we want to support and uphold somebody, and we want to be upheld and supported by somebody. And this is the way that God designed us. Um, we crave to be around people, and we're not meant to be alone. You know, everything that God made in the beginning, he said was good, until he made Adam, and then Adam was alone. And God said that is not good. The fact that Adam was alone, that was the only thing that wasn't good. So that's why God created Eve for Adam. And um, it's just natural. You know, we all want to fall in love. We all have visions, dreams of falling in love and what it might be like. And we all picture the person that we might marry someday. And that is the answer to the question. What is the purpose of dating? It's to get married. But we have lost that as a culture. We have lost the purpose behind um, rushing into relationships and losing sight of the commitment. So now what we have are people coming together, enjoying all of the benefits of marriage, but there is no commitment behind it. So people are free to leave or break up with the other person whenever they want. Um, now, obviously, I never liked to think of it that way when I was dating people. I've, I had a serious relationship in high school and I had a couple of semi-serious relationships in college, which I think I would call them serious because we were intimately involved with each other on a physical level as well as all other levels. And um, sadly, all of those relationships ended and some of the time I was hurt and some of the times they were hurt. And if I had known that there was a design that there was a right time for awakening those desires, um, then, hope, you know, maybe I wouldn't have gotten hurt. So that's why I'm making this video. It's to reach out to people um, who are in a similar situation. If you're dating when you're really young, or if you're, you know, you just want to date somebody so badly and you, you know, you just don't really think about what is the purpose of dating. So I'm here to talk to you about the design uh, for marriage that God created. Now, marriage has always been around. It was designed when God designed the world, he designed the covenant of marriage for humans to enjoy. And at the same time, he, he designed sex. And it's a beautiful, beautiful gift. You know, it is good. It is not bad. Sex is a good thing. But we make it a bad thing when we rush into it. Um, it's kind of like when you pick fruit off of a tree when it's not ripe. And it tastes bitter or tangy or dry. It's not nearly as good as if you had waited to pick the fruit when it was ripe. And the same thing is is with sex. Um, when you have it before marriage, when you have it uh, outside the covenant of marriage, you're bound to get hurt. It's bound to be bitter. Um, you, and, like, that doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to end up hating or resenting the other person, but it does mean that things aren't going to turn out the way you had hoped because you hastily rushed into something without the commitment there first. And, um, you know, the point of having a relationship is to invest your time, energy, and love into somebody else so you can grow with that person. Marriage is about unity. It's about two coming together to make one. And you don't want to invest your time in a relationship that you can't see the ending of, you know? Like, if if you just go into a relationship thinking, like, yeah, I'm just dating and I'm just going to see where it goes. Like, I'm not sure what's going to happen. Well, that's like, you know, wanting to... That's like spending all your money uh, on apartment payments and your money just goes up in smoke. And then after the, at the end of a few years, 
you don't own the property rather than if you had put your money into a house if you in invested in a house then after a few years you know you would be a lot closer to paying it off um, because you invested your time and your money into something long-standing but there's nothing long-standing about just saying yeah I'm gonna date somebody if you don't know that you're going to date them for the purpose of getting married you know and you know there's such a stigma on the word marriage in this society um, and I you know obviously there's a reason why it's because divorce rates are super high and uh, you know I know personally I have spent years being afraid of getting married because you know my parents got a divorce and I know what it's like I've seen broken relationships and it's like I just hadn't had a desire to be married I was like well I might get married and like of course I want to be married you know but it's just like with all these broken marriages all around it's kind of hopeless it seems hopeless um, but the good news is, and here we go, drum roll please, alright, the good news is, well, um, there is a right way to do things, there's a design, and, um, dating never used to be a thing, it used to be called courtship, you know, before people started glorifying going on dates and like, oh, let's come up with all these date ideas and like, you know, come up with things that you should do, like, oh, on the first date, oh, did he kiss you? That's supposed to be for the second date. And like, third date, oh, you should have gone, done this or gone this far or something. Like, that's not realistic. That's not based on truth. But what is, is, um, is courtship. And so a better way to think about dating is, this is changing your perspective on dating. It's intentionally spending your time trying to get to know somebody to see if you guys would make a good match for each other in marriage and that might seem scary because people don't want to commit people are afraid of commitments but the reason why dating has taken off and become such a big phenomena is because people are getting what they want or they're getting what they think they want they think they don't want no strings attached they think they just want all the benefits the, the physical stuff without being you know financially and emotionally involved or like you know like oh sh I don't want to have any kids, like, I'm just going to date, I'm just going to date. It's like, but the fact is, you're not nearly, you're missing out on something so amazing and beautiful. And if marriage is done right, it can be. It is amazing and beautiful, but people aren't, people are just losing sight of the truth. So I'm here to shake it up, yo. I'm here to shake it up. I'm here to tell you, marriage is a good thing. And dating without the end being marriage is pointless. It's a waste of time. It leads to broken hearts. It's just hurting you. Girls, I'm tell girls in relationships are getting frustrated. Some guys might be too. I'm not saying it doesn't go both ways, but like the lady wants to be married. She wants to feel secure. She wants to know that her man isn't going to cheat on her. She wants to know that her man is going to be there for her. But when he doesn't commit himself to her, when he doesn't lay down his life for her, you know, she's just stuck in this limbo, just kind of like, yeah, we're dating, and oh, it's not a big deal, I don't really want to get married anyway. It's like, yes, she does, okay? Yes, we do. And it's not a bad thing to say that, to admit that. It shouldn't be about admitting it, by the way, because that's the way that we were designed. We were designed to want to fall in love with somebody and have a life partner. So, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, yeah, see you next week. Hey, what's up, guys? Hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to check out my other videos over here and uh, subscribe to my channel. See you next week.